Howdy guys, I'm back with more Fallout 3. Last time I returned to Tenpenny Tower and talked to the residents about having ghoul neighbors and the people that remained <laughs> have no problem with having ghoul neighbors, but um, there's still a couple of problems. First of all, Tenpenny is already dead, so I can't negotiate for Charmed, ghoul neighbors sure. um, with Tenpenny. And Gustavo... You having trouble with those ghouls? Well, when I talked to Dis uh, to uh, Gustavo, all of my dialogue choices are grayed out, and uh, when I go and talk to him about having ghoul neighbors... After Tenpenny died, I assumed full command. And since I hate ghouls, I guess the answer to that question is pretty damn clear. Those ghouls can live here over my goddamn body. Well... Since he says Watch your over his body, I'm going to oblige him. Now, I'm not really sure how I'm going to pick off Gustavo with nice um, with Doing the security well, up here. I'd do better if I could get my and, hands on um, caviar. But oh, what geez. can you do? <laughs> you know, the thing is, I don't really, really need to kill him. I got another key to the basement from Daring, but... You know, I'm, I am I really want a somewhat peaceful solution to this situation. I want the ghouls to be able to have a home here, but I also don't want the people that live here to get their faces mauled off by feral ghouls, so I'm going to try picking off Gustavo. Now, I'm not really sure if that's going to work, because I'm not sure what the tenpenny uh, chain of command is, if uh, someone else will take over, or if... Um, you know, everyone's just going to be cool with having ghoul neighbors. I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can take out Gustavo and then make a dash for that um, basement with the generators and stuff. So if taking out Gustavo doesn't work, if a peaceful solution doesn't work, then maybe I'll just have to do the feral ghoul thing so the ghouls have a home. Alright, so I'm going to use one of these. Ooh, it's the first time I've used a stealth boy. I don't know how long this lasts. Um, I guess it's just within a field. It says I'm hidden. Um, I think... Alright, well, Sharon's... I don't know if I should tell Sharon to wait. Alright, well, I've got a pretty clear shot, but if I don't one-shot him, I'm going to be up a creek, so... Here we go. No save scumming. <laughs> Good riddance. Uh oh. Oh, tell Roy you Phillips the ghouls can move trouble. in. Okay, that does work. I didn't think that would work. Everyone, I think, is hostile. And how are you this fine day? To me. Oh, just wonderful. Oh Thanks man, I um, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here if all of the guards are aggressive. I've still got this stealth thing. Do I start taking out the guards? That's pretty horrible. I, you know, for someone that wanted to solve this peacefully, I don't know if, uh, if they stop, uh, I don't think they're red anymore, but, well, that, I don't know if that's going to change if I move out here or not. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. Um, okay, it's not red anymore. I don't think they're aggressive. I don't know. Uh, all right, no, they're not aggressive. Oh my, well, I'm just going to help myself to all of this, and um, I, I don't think anyone's going to see me take it. No one saw me take it. Oh my gosh, is this actually going to work? It is, guys, I didn't think it would work. I'm so excited. Oh, look, Sharon's having a difficult time getting down here. Come on, Sharon, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really, really happy. I, um, well, I mean, Tenpenny died, Gustavo died, so it's... Not like I did this with no bloodshed whatsoever, but uh, I'm going to quick save.
but uh, I think I found a pretty happy solution to all of this. It's just a matter of uh, getting to Roy now. Uh, gosh, this pit boy is weird with the stealth thing on it. Um, I know uh, one of you guys told me I should uh, take a look around the uh, local area, that there's some neat stuff around here, so I definitely want to uh, explore afterward, but I want to go talk to Roy right now. Just... I just really didn't think that was going to work. You know, the the thing with this game is... Uh, oh, my stealth boy wore out. Oh, okay, well that's uh, pretty cool. It's just like a invisibility. I mean, those things are very, very expensive, and I, I see why they're so valuable. That's the first time I used one. I wasn't really sure if it was going to work like that. I thought like I would put it down and it would just be like a field around me. I didn't think it would, like, I didn't think I could move around with it, but, um, geez, that just worked out wonderfully. Alright, so, uh, back into here to talk to Roy and a peaceful solution. I'm just so happy. I really, I'm feeling on cloud nine. I really am. I didn't want to have to release the ferals and, um, you know, this way, you know, because the fer there's no bad ferals, but there's not... Oh gosh, where do I go? <laughs> um, you know, there's no really bad... Um, or there, there are bad ferals, excuse me. There's um, not... You know, these ghouls aren't bad, but, you know, the people of... Um, of... Um, Ah, uh, jeez. I'm really turned around in here, guys. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let me get my head, my thoughts straight here. So the people of uh, Tenpenny, some of them were good, some of them were bad, you know? And same thing with the, uh, the ghouls here. You know, the ferals are obviously bad, but they're out of their minds. And, you know, ghouls are just like people. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. And these people just want a safe place to live. And like Roy said, uh, Tenpenny just came in there and took for himself, so... Alright, you have a home! What's the word of Tenpenny, kid? Alright, uh, don't... Ha no, no releasing the ferals. I've taken care of things. You can move in! I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the ferals and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. What? Cool mask. Oh, right! Quest completed Ten Penny Tower! I did it! Oh my gosh! Give him hell! Oh, I'm so hey happy! Oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy! What do you think oh. about that? Hello there, can't thank you enough! Oh, I'm so happy, she can't thank me Stay enough. out of trouble! Will do! Oh my gosh! Hey, kid! I was wrong about you! Good job! Oh, see? Good luck! You know, Ghouls are just people, you know, there's good people and there's bad people. Same with the people at Tenpenny, good or bad. And I mean, you know, bigotry sucks, but, um, you know, maybe the, the answer isn't uh, killing everybody. It, it really isn't. The answer is not killing everybody. And, you know, now that they're neighbors, maybe they can learn something from each other. So, uh, how does the... where is the ghoul mask? Is it... I guess it's a mask. Is it something I wear? Um, ghoul mask. Oh gosh. Am I. How. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> this is some nightmare fuel. Oh my gosh. What. Uh, do people treat. Will people treat me differently if I run around with this. With this nonsense on my face? Oh my gosh. Well, it, it is nice to not have to worry about uh, the ferals. Hey if, if that's how it works, that's what, they, that's what they, they just said. So I guess it's supposed to protect them from me. Or protect me from them, rather. Alright, well, um... I guess that's one less thing to do. I could... Oh! Oh, yeah! The, the feral's down here. Oh, they're friendly! Look! Oh my gosh, I can even talk to them! <laughs> Are you, well, it doesn't do anything. Oh my gosh! This is a hoot! Are you serious? Oh my gosh! I'm one of you now! <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm way, way too amused by this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, oh, and a, a reaver is over here too. He has nothing to say to me. Boy, am I really glad that he's not unfriendly. Oh my gosh. So, if I didn't have a ghoul friend, you know, since the ghoul mask is on me, if I had like a non-ghoul follower, I guess the ferals would still attack them, huh? Wow, well this worked out just marvelously. I oughta, I wonder, should I go back to Tenpenny Tower and check on them and see how they're settling in? Or, um... Well, I guess it'll take them a while to travel there, and, you know, honestly, every single time I go and check in on someone after I finish a quest, nothing's really happened. They're just like, cool, thank you. So, I don't think anything's really going to be different right now at Ten Penny. so I don't think I'm going to go back there. So, I have a couple of things I can do now that the Ten Penny Tower situation is sorted. Um... The first thing I want to do is go back outside and take a look around the local area. There, you know, I, I, I think I even said that, oh, I always get turned around here. I, oh yeah, look, they're going to Tin Pennies. There they are. Hi, cool friends. Thanks for the funny mask. I appreciate hey, it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, there's, uh, I noticed that when I first came out here, when I was Hello. going to the, uh, Robco facility, that there's a lot of cool buildings out here. So, uh, yeah, there's Tin Pennies, so I'm just going to kind of look around in the general area and see what kind of mischief I can get into. And then, um, you know, I'm gonna start, well, now that that quest is done, I can go back to the one that I was originally working on. But that's going to take me way, 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 way over to Fort Constantine. And, uh, you know, there, I, I think this is the furthest to the northwest I've gone. So it's going to be quite an adventure going out to the northwest. So I'll uh, save that for next time. So today I'm just going to look around now. Is, uh, is this anything I can go into? It's not boarded up. Oh, door to Lucky, so I... Oh, I'm not alone. Um, well, I don't... I don't think they're unfriendly because they're green. Cut it out! It's just a scavenger. Okay. So he's just a random dude? Here, let's... Oh, that's a hammer. How about... Oh, okay. All right. Hi. What do you need? Oh, there's another radio going on. Oh. Uh, okay, he's just a traitor. Yeah. See you. Okay, just a random dude. Uh, where's... There we go. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so... Oh, but it's still considered, uh, stealing. Oh, there's like a missile there. How is it... This isn't yours. Why is it considered stealing? You're just in here, just like doing the same Hello. thing I am, scavenging. Well, I mean, eh. Um, let's see if there's anything particularly exciting or worth taking in here. It looks like, I mean, there's a few nice things. Like I saw the uh, Nuka Cola Quantums over there. A lot of toy cars, a bunch of radios. Uh, oh, for a there's a terminal here. Ooh, pre-war money. <sighs> what are you doing? This isn't... Oh, okay, see, but I can take this. There's no problem with me taking the book, but apparently I'm just the worst if I steal this beer over here. But it's not yours. <coughs> you just get... He's sitting here clearing his throat at me, like... I, I can help myself to this stuff too, dude. Quit looking at me funny. Alright, well, um... I think I want to break into this terminal, but it's hard. So I don't know if uh, I'll be able to do it, but I can't with Pops over there staring at me. Oh, it says I'm hidden from here. Let me save real quick. Um... Maybe he can't see me hacking from here. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna lose karma every single time I attempt this, so, um... 
I guess I want to try to do this right, which you guys know about how good I am at hacking. Alright, well I'll just start with, uh, let's start with separating. One out of nine. Holy moly, that could be anything. Alright, well let's go with that, that, maybe I'll get an allowance removal. Alright, I really want to be careful and try to, um, alright, there we go, I did get an allowance removal. Alright, so I really want to make sure I get all these dud removals, because this is a hard one, and I, I, I'm still struggling with the easy ones, so. At least, uh, oh boy, I'm removing a bunch of duds, so m almost everything is gone, and I already know it's not going to be an ING. So, separ was it se yeah, separating had one out of nine, so... Um, it, it could be, it couldn't be anything ING, it could be technician, ooh, one out of nine, no, it can't be that, alright, um, hmm, which is the one, it can't be revolution then, it can't be reputation if it's only one out of, or it could be, ah, oh, man, hmm, Hum, 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 hum. It could be this one, Reputation. Oh, man, I suck at this. All right, well, it seems like a lot of them would be uh, downstairs. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. Okay. It was just a matter of, um, it was just, uh, what do you call it, uh, process of elimination at that point. All right. Oh, okay, I'm just disengaging a lock. All right. What lock did I do? disengage. I honestly have n Oh! A floor safe. Hello! Oh, that's it? A, some scotch and some money? I don't... Uh, I just stole that because I feel like I earned it at that point. Really? Is there something else I'm not seeing? How did that hard terminal only give me... Well, I guess, I guess that's why there's a scavenger in here. He's already cleaned house, huh? Man, why'd you take all the good stuff? Maybe I'll talk to him again. Let's what see. do you need? Let's see. Oh, oh. Uh, do you have anything for sale? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. <laughs> You're weird. All right, a dog bowl. He's got a lot of ooh, a chessboard. He's got a lot of like random junk. Um, a wasteland wanderer outfit. No, he doesn't have anything particularly good. I mean, just um, I mean, I, I'm kind of tempted to get this stuff to decorate my house with. You know what? Why not? Uh, a couple of caps. Why not? Go get a get a get it for my house, right? Yeah, sure. Have a couple of caps. Thanks. All right, uh, I gotta yeah. go. Well, shoot. Um, there's so many missiles here, but it's all considered stealing. But well, you know, I don't understand it. I can't buy these from him yet, but yet he doesn't sell them. I do. I. I mean, is it considered stealing if if he's not among the living? Okay, this isn't the answer to everything. I got, I'm getting a little too trigger happy these days, but I am taking these missiles because I need them. <laughs> You're not going to use them in here. Come on, guy. All right, well... <laughs> oh! Lucky Shades. Is that... Oh, that must, uh... That, uh, must be what one of you were telling me about. All right, so... Oh, they... Oh, they actually give you a little bit of luck, too. Oh, I can't really see them very well. Here, how about like this? Got to sit down. Oh, nope, that light's... There we go. This is important, guys. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my hair clips through it a little bit. I'm going to have to get a haircut or a way to restrain my hair because it's cutting through my uh, my really cool sun new sunglasses. So, um, hmm. Here we go. There we go. This is a... There we go. That's my solution to everything. Put on the bonnet. All right. Well, now me and Sharon are twinsies. We can go... Good to see you. Uh, hold... Watch it, will you? Oh, hu hush. We can go holding hands and skipping. Over here! Oh, 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 my gosh. I wasn't ready for any of that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. 
Oh god, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, I hope Sharon's okay. Okay, that's not working for me. Alright. I really hope Sharon's okay. I really, really hope Sharon's okay, because he's taking like three of them by himself. Oh my gosh. Are we safe? You okay? You're okay. Alright. Alright. I was not prepared for that at all. I was really worried about Sharon because he took on like two of them by himself. I was over here like trying to get my, um, my like, uh, what do you call it? My little saw thing out. Alright, well, I'm just gonna take it all. Why not? I'm gonna just take ev- My gosh, you're you're a mess, buddy. Look at you. Look at you. You got limbs in places that limbs don't go, man. Come on. Was it worth it? It wasn't worth it, was it, buddy? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Such a shame. Such a shame. So, I- Oh, this again. Private- Contract kill Rurumiki. So, oh, whoops, I'm already over encumbered. That didn't take much. Um, let's, uh. Oh, those are the same, uh, class or whatever. Alright, repair one of them. Alright, so I thought I already got one of those, uh, those contracts, didn't I? I thought I did. Uh, gosh, I don't even. It, it would, it would be under here, wouldn't it? I don't know, um, hmm, oh, I guess it would be under notes, but I, yeah, see, nothing, nothing new, I think I've already picked that up, alright, yeah, see, here we go, uh, private contract killed Rurumiki, I gotta get to the bottom of this at some point, man, that's, uh, it always catches me by surprise, it drives me absolutely bonkers. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish uh, taking a look around this area outside of, uh, outside of uh, Tenpenny's Tower. I've been wanting to explore over here for a while. Um, gosh, and then it's gonna be another long journey up to uh, that Fort Constantine. Uh, gosh, I've got so much to do, <laughs> and I, I really need to get back to Rivet City. I've been uh, holding on to that declaration for a really long time, and of course I need to speak with my father too, so I've still got quite a bit to do. Alright, well that's a bummer. I just walked all the way over here for nothing. I thought this house would be something, and then, um, hmm. Well, let me take a quick look at my map here. Alright, that's the tunnels. That's where I came from. Alright, well, I don't know if there's really a whole lot else out here by Tin Pennies. I thought these houses would have some exciting stuff, and well, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Uh, well, maybe they do, after all. Metal box. Eh, this stuff's not really exciting anymore. I have. Oh, I have plenty of caps. I've got a nice home. I've. Oh. There may be danger here. There may be danger here. Alright, I'll hunker down. Baby crib. That's sad. Oh, some combat armor. Alright, well, maybe, uh, maybe exploration is a bad idea seeing how overweight I am. Eh. I mean, well, it's good to know what's out here in case I ever need it again, I guess, right? Well, let me just take a quick look at some of these houses over here and see if there's anything else exciting. And if not, then um, I guess my little adventure for the day will be done. We've got an oven here and a pilot light. I need to start remembering to grab those for craft. I still have yet to do any crafting. I think I've got like 40. Oh, hey, look, here's another chessboard. <laughs> I have like, a oh, look, there's bottle caps everywhere here. Someone loved soda, but uh, I have like 40 hours in this game and I still have yet to craft a single thing. Oh hell, I have over 40 hours in this game and I still don't even really know what I'm doing half the time. Oi, that's, uh, that's Bethesda RPGs for you though, right? Alright, well I guess these houses aren't terribly exciting. I thought that maybe I could go thought and- Thought I heard something. Oh! Oh, he did hear something. What's over here? Oh, Sharon, please don't go getting Glad into trouble. <laughs> Sharon? What would I do without you? I don't even know what you're over here shooting. I don't want to... Oh, Rad Scorpion. Nice. Alright, so I guess it's just nothing but... Oops, a 
Oh, here we go. Here's some goodies. Ammo. Nice. Nice. Oh, those magnums are nice. Tho um, those and the sniper rifle rounds and, like, flamer fuel are the only ones that I've really had to buy because I've been, uh, you know, going through them like water. Alright, well, this uh, little neighborhood here doesn't really seem like it has anything too exciting. Of course, I'm just, uh... Uh, what the heck were you doing over there? I gotta keep an eye on you. You're gonna end up dying to something really stupid the minute I turn around and I don't see you behind me. Alrighty, guys. Well, there's nothing really else over here. I thought it would be a little bit more exciting out this ways. I'm sorry. I do see something over there, though. Hmm. It looks like a uh, truck or a bus or something. Uh, nothing that really particularly. Oh, there you are. Oh, bugs. All right. Well, I'll let Sharon handle those. I, my bodyguard. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Nothing really going on over there, guys. So. Um, yeah, ten pennies is pretty far away. I've been oh wow, I didn't realize how far away I've been I've uh, roamed. Hmm. So yeah, okay, I guess um, not uh, not a whole lot to do right now. So I guess uh, yeah, I'll go back to Megaton. I'm going to clean out my inventory a little bit. You want something? And uh, then I'm gonna start my adventure out to the northwest. Yes. And uh, I'll do deal with that Fort Constantine thing, and then um, I think after that I'm gonna try to stick to the main story for a while because I've been getting, I've been wandering off it's for quite a while. It's good to see you alive and well, madam. So I don't know if I've well, shown. Anyway. Oh well, gee, thanks. Don't know if I've shown you guys my home. Not really a whole, whole lot to see right now. I keep all of my uh, weapons in this locker. Uh, I guess this is, would be my bobblehead stand, but I think I accidentally activated that in my tenpenny suite. I think I have two. Be cautious. Homes. It's my home. Calm down. So I think I have. Um, I think I have two homes now. Got my miscellaneous nonsense over here, like uh, my all my stealth boys. Of course, my copy of my survival guide, my little BB gun from uh, my childhood, and just some uh, random stuff from my adventures. I've been meaning to uh, decorate a little bit better, but you know, actually picking objects up, that's a, an ordeal in and of itself. I've been trying to collect these uh, Nuka Cola Quantum. Be cautious. Oh, quit, quit it. It's my home. Welcome home, madam. Uh, nothing really going on in this room. I'm not really sure how I want to decorate um, really anything yet. All my clothes in my filing cabinet by my bed, and um, I bought one of these infirmaries. They've it's been it's already paid for itself easily, and then uh, my death claw hand that I'm just keeping for funsies on this table. Oh, great! It took me forever to get it just the way I like it. Oh well. Well, yeah, sorry guys that, uh, <laughs> I just, uh... It's good to see you alive and well, madam. Just wanted to show you my little well, home anyway. real quick, since I don't think I've shown you guys yet. It's not a lot, but it's mine. Alrighty, guys, well, I'm so happy that I actually, uh, dealt with that tenpenny situation. It was actually stressing me out. I was really worried about finishing up this quest. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I didn't feel good about releasing the ferals, and I didn't feel good just walking away, and I'm really glad that there's a solution I can feel good about. Gustavo maybe didn't deserve to die, but, you know, if I just have to kill one person to make a bunch of people happy, I think I did okay. So, uh, next time, my adventure out to the northwest begins. I'm going to be heading to Fort Constantine, and I'm going to, I guess, approach it from this station here, and, um, you know, I'm kind of tempted to go over here to the west, because there's all these interesting places I haven't been, but I don't know, I've been 
you know, I've been getting into so much mischief. Like I said, I kind of want to go back to the main story quest for a little while, but I don't know. I'll figure it out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Fallout 3. I'm so happy that I solved that tenpenny problem. Next time, like I said, I'll be heading out to Fort Constantine. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and bye for now.